Good morning. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. Again, I'm putting together kits for this week's Vice Squad. Uh, the pattern this week is Denny Rickard's Stillwater Nymph, the Calabatus version. Simple little pattern. We've tied the Schroeder's Calabatus before, which is my favorite, but between that one and this one, those are really the only two I've ever had any interest in. They work so well. Calabatus, so. Uh, Nice long emergence in our local lakes. <clears throat> I'm starting with the size 16 hook. It's got a little extra shanks. This is a this is a Dairiki 730, and black thread works just fine. I'm going to start the thread and move it back until it's somewhere around the hook point, and I've got a mallard flank feather. I'm using the natural today. You can use a wood duck color. It looks very good as well. And what I'm going to do is separate out to bundle. Get the tips relatively even before I even peel it off. Now I'm going to tie that in right where I ended the thread wraps right over the point of the hook. And then I'm going to make wraps back towards the barb of the hook. When I get to the barb of the hook, I'm going to fold the mallard over and secure it with a couple of turns. That'll be my shell back. <laughs> the hackle on this one is a grizzly hackle. And it should be undersized. You really only want it to go down about to the gap of the hook. I'm going to tie that in first and get to some dubbing. The dubbing is it's a natural hair's ear. It's pretty spiky, it's pretty ragged, but it actually will dub fairly tightly. It'll have a lot of spiky stuff sticking out of it, but get that thing on there. Leave the guard hairs in. And if you can, I like to get one turn behind the hackle. Don't worry too much about a perfect taper here. You just want to get some some dubbing from back to front. Looks like I need just a little more. And I want to get this actually fairly close to the eye. Now i got a little dubbing left. Rather than swipe it off, I'm just going to Stick it back onto the fly. Now with this hackle, this should be very sparse. It should only take one, two, three or four turns to get to the front. This isn't a Griffith's gnat. It's not meant to float. You just want a semblance of legs here. Now before I trim that, I'm going to go ahead and Pull the mallard over and stroke it a few times so you get that good barred marking. Now this mallard is somewhat tender so don't make your wraps too tight. And I'm going to finish these wraps back towards the fly and away from the front. That'll make it a little safer to trim. Trim this at an angle that matches that dropped hook eye. And you should be safe. And that left little bitty stubs there, but my whip finish, when I go from back to front, will take care of those. That's it. With Calabatus, simple is better. Rickard Stillwater Calabatus.